Hey everybody, Greg Cazillo here for Ferronosphoto.com, another Wednesday Lightroom video. Hopefully it's getting posted on Wednesday, Wednesdays. I'll have to ask Jared about that. So number one, keyboard shortcuts. That's why I have this window up. You can go to help, and right here is, where did it go? Uh, shortcuts, Lightroom module shortcuts. Okay, and it, actually there's even a shortcut to bring up the shortcuts menu. Nice. Anyway, there are quite a few that I use a lot. Um, then there's other here, other ones here that I don't use at all. So, let's go over the ones that I use all the time. And My number one tip for learning the shortcuts is to just try and learn one at a time. Just, you know, have a list of them maybe on next to your computer or one a week, try and learn. And that's the best way to learn those as you go is just one at a time. Make yourself use it and you'll realize how much faster everything can be in Lightroom by using those shortcuts. All right. So uh, the number one thing that I use all the time is the grid mode. This is my grid mode right here. Okay. You're seeing the small uh, grid of images, small images. Obviously, the thumbnails we can change the size of, uh, but that's my number one, and that's the G. That's G, okay. So if I'm in the develop module looking at this photo, I can hit the grid and jump back here in no time at all. Rather than searching for this button uh, or coming back up here to the library and then finding out that I'm in a different mode. Oops, I need to go back. Okay, I can't find it. But find buttons, all that stuff. Huge, huge difference. G for grid mode. Number two, if I just want to view a photo bigger, I can just hit the enter key and that will make it bigger for me. Quick, back to G. Now, say I want to compare these five photos in the survey mode. Survey mode, N key. Nice thing about this is, nah, I don't want that one. No, 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 no. Okay, I want that one. That's the one. And then I jump back to the grid and that's the one that I wanted I selected. Okay, now, compare mode. Compare mode is really nice. I want to compare, I'd say, these three photos for sharpness. So I hit the C key, and then I can hit my tab key to get rid of my left and right bars. Okay, so I combined them two there. And then I can zoom in, and I can see what my sharpness is like, and all that good stuff. So I hit my G key, go back and then tab. So once again, C is for compare, G is for grid, N is for the survey view, and G comes back, and then tab brings those in. So again, learn these a little bit at a time. Here's a couple other quick ones that I use all the time. Uh, D for develop. Okay, develop. Uh, brings me into develop module, whatever my last uh, panel that I had open will pop up. But once again, G pops me right back over here. So that's awesome. Next thing, um, let's see, we went over that, we went over that. Oh, yes. The four letter C word shortcut. We have to talk about that one. I know we don't do this, but every once in a while you have to. So the four letter C word shortcut. Everybody try it right now. Ready? Oops. Wait a minute. It only works. It only works from develop. The four letter C word, C, C doesn't work. C crop is the R key. The R key brings up the crop tool from anywhere. From grid, use R and it brings up the crop tool automatically, which is nice if you need to use it or if you use it too much. Uh, the R is the crop tool. All right. Uh